these St. Louis style ribs, if you, the first thing you want to do is to ensure that you do remove the, the silver skin off the back of these ribs. Uh, if you use, just use your finger or knife or any of that, it's going to be very, very difficult to remove. The best thing to do is to take a paper towel and get that paper towel and have that paper towel underneath it to be able to grab it and then just pull, putting one, one thumb behind it and just pull forward and that's, that silver skin comes right off. So we'll get that removed and uh, then move on to the next step. Sometimes you do have to take a, maybe a little knife at the beginning here to get it going, but most of the time just a wet paper towel or it really gets damp from, from uh, getting the, the silver skin off. This one's gonna be a booger, but see, I got a piece here. It'll be a pain in the butt to get off. So if you have an easier way to do this, make sure you include that in the comments. This is just the way that I've always done it. So you get that paper towel and that silver skin will come right off of there. So we've got that, got that taken care of. Now what I like to do is go through and any of this hang on fat, any of this hang on fat, I'd like to cut, cut that loose. Just so I won't have that there. Any of the big chunks of fat, like this big chunk of fat here, I'll take that off. Some people leave it on, I take it off. You got a couple of choices when, when you do ribs is, you, do you have a binder? Do you not have a binder? I prefer to use a binder for my rubs. I normally use, use either olive oil or I'll use mustard, but today I want a, a more sweet flavor profile, so I'm actually gonna use some, some honey mustard. Any honey mustard will work. This is, this is from HEB, but it's a, a honey mustard. You don't taste really the mustard flavor after, after everything is rendered and it's cooked uh, low and slow, but it does give you a, a profile of sweetness if you use the honey mustard. So we're gonna use the honey mustard and then we're gonna bathe it in this honey hog barbecue by Meat Church. This is some very, very, very good stuff. Gives you a, a more of a, a sweeter profile rather than that profile of, of peppery, uh, peppery salt. And that's what we're wanting today is a slow smoked, sweet profile on these ribs. You don't need a whole lot of mustard. I've seen some people lathered up and it's really, really thick. All you need is a sheen of that mustard on there and it'll be able to hold that rub right in there for you. Just a, she just a sheen, that's all you need. Doesn't need to be a yellow coat, doesn't need to be overdone, just a sheen. Now we'll get that rub on there. So we're gonna rub it up with this honey hog barbecue by Meat Church. Uh, so sometimes we wrap, sometimes we don't wrap when we when we have it on the cooker. Today we're gonna go five hours, five hours, maybe a little less depending on, on how quickly it gets done, but we're, we're gonna plan for a five hour cook and we're not gonna wrap at all. So we're gonna let it go. Let it bathe in that smoke for the whole five hours. And then towards, towards the latter part of it, we'll add a little bit of barbecue sauce and probably some, some brown sugar to, to get that sweeter profile going. But no wrap, no crutch. So we got it rubbed up real good. I do not rub it with my hands. I just let, let the uh, sweat there take care of that. And uh, let it sit here for a minute, get the pit up to temp, and get them on. See you on a minute. So we're gonna go out here and check and make sure our, our temperature and our pit's coming along. Uh, again, this is our third cook on our new smoker, the Lone Star Grills Mini. 
Uh, the guys at Lone Star Grills did a great job with the smoker, and uh, I'm really, really, really impressed. So we're up to uh, 150 degrees, and it's coming quite along. Got a good, clean smoke going, and it uh, won't be long. We'll get those ribs on. All right. Pits up to tip. We're going to put these ribs on. Get those going. Don't mind those other beef ribs there. That's for another video, so... We'll get these loaded up and uh, get them to cooking. Like I said before, we're gonna, not going to wrap these. We're going to put them on the pit and we're going to leave them for about four to five hours. We will come out here in about an hour or so, hour and a half, and uh, do some spritzing. But until then, we'll let them bathe in the smoke. Long about 260. These sweet ribs. Put some apple juice on. Keep them moist. And we'll let them roll for about another 45 minutes to an hour. About two hours in. Great. Gonna spritz them. five hours no wrap it's got a nice coloring to it add a little sweet barbecue sauce and we'll be done we'll let these rest for a few minutes we'll come back and see how the inside looks ribs are done they rested a little bit we're going to cut into them and see what they look like Nice smoke ring, really juicy. Call this one a success. Thanks for joining us guys. If you have any comments, leave those below. Please take a minute to subscribe. Push that bell for any future updates. Look forward to joining you again for another cook.